Hello, welcome to Switch Dump, Paul speaking, and today looking at a new game that's come out on the eShop, and that is House Flipper. Uh, this has been out on the PC and other consoles for some while, but now it comes to the Nintendo Switch, and you'll be looking at around about $25, and I think it's just under £20 at the moment in the UK, as it's got a little bit of a launch offer, but um, I think it usually retails about £22. So, um, as this one might suggest, you are flipping houses, and this is something I've always considered doing. I would love to have been uh, a house flipperer, if that's the, the right verb. Um, but unfortunately not. So, in this game, you are taking on small tasks. You've got this little ramshackle shed. Let's have a look on the outside. Uh, while, while I'm out here, I will point out the first problem I've got with this game. Um, having played it previously on other consoles and PC as it's a really good game, uh, spoiler alert, but uh, there's a lot of fogging in the Switch version. So you can see here, it's like playing the game on a misty day outside. It doesn't matter that much because you spend most of your time indoors, but I just thought it's worth pointing out that obviously some um, compensations have been made for the Switch version. Um, so yeah, you start with this little ramshackle shed that you need to do up over time as you earn money. And you earn money by going to your laptop here, picking up jobs. Uh, I haven't done much on this one, so I played the uh, played the PlayStation version to to death. Put about twenty hours into that. Uh, eventually, getting onto uh, owning your own housing portfolio and uh, sort of design them as you want. But at the start here, all you're limited to doing is accepting little jobs for the townsfolk. Early on, the very very early jobs will usually just involve you tidying up, um, as exciting as that sounds, <laughs> like cleaning out rubbish, um, cleaning floors, cleaning walls, cleaning windows, and doing small maintenance tasks. But eventually, as you level up and get more um, jobs come available, you'll be doing things like um, painting, uh, demolishing walls, um, putting in new appliances, that kind of thing. So there's a lot to this game, and it is really good. It look, it's going to probably look a little bit... Um, it's going to look pretty janky, um, but it's one of those games that's really chilled out. Something extremely different, you know, there's not going to be uh, many games like this that you would have played. So anyway, the first thing I'm doing here for this uh, job is tidying up. So it's getting rid of all these uh, rubbish, dirty boxes. You're just doing this by holding down ZR. It's got quite a nice control system. It's quite easy to... Uh, to get around once you get used to it. Uh, if I just get rid of these boxes and then I will show you that. Uh, hold down ZL, you get this like a uh, selection wheel pop up and you'll have all your tools on here. At the minute we've only got our mop and our hands. Uh, so we're just gonna keep using our hands at the moment just to get rid of all of this crap from the garage. And then uh, I'll switch here to my mop. So holding down ZL, switch to the mop and let go of ZL. And you've now got your mop. And again, just holding down ZR. Very simple stuff just to clean up. Top right hand corner, you've got a mini map, which will show you where all the areas of dirt are. We'll show you what needs to be cleaned away. And obviously, a floor plan of the uh, current location that you're in. And as I say, the jobs get more involved. You'll be doing stuff like electrics, plumbing. Uh, it's all very simplified, of course. You're basically just. Uh, doing like quick time events just open the garage doors up uh, you're basically doing like quick time events just following prompts on the screen but I don't know it feels kind of uh, cathartic in a lot of ways I mean um, I'm not the most handiest person around the house <laughs> in real life so it kind of gives you uh, that little bit of an outlet uh, what have we got to clean here can clean the table but yeah, there is a, a range of tools available. For example, when you need to clean the windows, you get a sort of squeegee to uh, what knows. Like, I don't know if you've seen those like electric sort of karcher squeegees, and um, you get one of those to clean the windows with. Uh, on the right-hand side, you'll see your progress on this job. So overall progress there. Um, there's sort of a, a minimum limit you need to meet for the um, people to be satisfied that you've done the job. But you then can go above and beyond to get more rewards. If you go ahead and complete, you know, tidy up all the areas of the house, make it all nice and clean. But that's up to you. If the, the better job you do, the more money you get. Let's have a look at another room. Let's uh, what's this room through here? 
see. I mean, the houses are pretty bland and uh, there's not much to them, but you know, eventually you'll be doing all this. You'll be putting in shower units, baths, and then decorating as well. That's quite a big element of it. Uh, putting up wallpaper, painting walls, buying furniture. If I bring up the uh, the tablet, everything's worked by this tablet. You press the minus button to bring this up. So this is your tablet. So you can see here, you've got uh, tabs along the bottom. Start with the store. These are all different things you can buy. And it looks like uh, this game's actually been updated a little bit. And it's got some of the uh, themed stuff in. So we've got Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. And you can buy all of these little things and place them in your house. You can see it's like a, a virtual <laughs> IKEA catalogue. You've got lots of different choices of, of items to buy. And as I say, as you go on in the game, you'll be asked to sort of interior decorate a house. Or you've got your own portfolio of houses that you can start to collect. And you can design them however the heck you want. Uh, here we've got a list of buyers, so um, if you're a real estate or realtor, I think as uh, the Americans would say, um, these are the town's folk, so you can start to uh, target your houses for people that might be looking for them. So for example here, the Johnson family, 35 years old uh, approximately, married, got three children and also got a grandma living with them. So you know, you look at a minimum there of probably three bedrooms. So when they come to look for a house, you'll be looking to put them somewhere like that. And possibly building towards that and you've got these perks as you do jobs you can level up so we've got a level up available here on our cleaning you usually get three options so we've got um, three things here that we can uh, upgrade in our cleaning perk so we've got penetrating vision which lets you see more dirt on the minimap fast hands which basically just speeds up how quickly you pick things up and then long range which basically gives you new mops and lets you um, sort of clean a longer way away so you don't have to walk around the room so much so we can choose one of these, probably, uh, what should we go for? Let's go for fast hands, so we clean up a little bit faster. We can see along the top here, we've got all different tabs of different things that we can upgrade, our skills that we can upgrade as the game goes on. So we get rid of the tablet. Outside, you don't tend to do too much outside. Uh, let's have a look at the minimap and see what we've got to do. We can zoom out with the up and down on the D-pad. See what other rooms we've got to do. I don't know if we can get actually if we get a list. I don't think we can get the uh, the task up, but let's open the door to go through it. Uh, let's go back to the garage because that's where the main area of concern was. We opened the door, didn't we? So we can go in around the front. We've still got rubbish to take away, so we're going to take away these bags. As I say, this isn't really that in the in the indicative, indicative, indicative of <laughs> of what the job is all about. So the, the later jobs are a lot more involved. And uh, here you go, we've got another skill point now. But yeah, as I say, it's just a really chilled out game. Some old tires to get rid of. Uh, my girlfriend really enjoyed this one. She's like very much into those sort of crafting games, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, those sort of things. And uh, she just absolutely loved this and played it for probably three times the amount of time I did. Must admit, on the uh, the version I played on PlayStation, my interest did wane a little bit. But as I say, this isn't really uh, the sort of thing that I played that often. Although I did actually find myself um, playing it more than I expected to. But yeah, if you're into this sort of um, crafting sort of game, then you're probably going to be all well at home here. Stand tidy these bikes up. Probably got a couple of kids here just dumping their bikes in the garage. If you're a parent, you're going to be well used to that. Just see if we can get to end this. Get rid of these tyres. They just magically disappear. Let's get our mop back out. Let me know in the comments below if you've played this one. Or if this is something that interests you. Or if you've got any other, uh, any other questions about it. What else have we got? We've got something else to tie. Oh, there's a little spot of dirt. Is there over there? What have we got to tidy? It's telling me there's one more thing. I think it's that crate on the racking. And there we go. That is the garage tidy. It's still saying we haven't reached our overall progress. Ah, oh, clean the window. So we've got a window to clean. Is that in the garage? It is indeed. So here we go. So you see the squeegee. And you basically just hold down Z up. Just use your lift stick just to get rid of all the muck and grime on the window. You can probably, hopefully, you can see it in the YouTube video, but there's like a, a thin, opaque layer of dirt that I can see here that I'm just making sure I clear it all up. 
Sometimes it is easy to miss a spot, but then I guess, again, that's kind of like real life. It looks pretty clean to me, but it's still not saying it's complete, so you have to just make sure you go over all the glass. There we go. And it automatically just takes you out of it when it's complete. So, info, the order is 100% complete. Click the hotkey below, a bit of a left lever, uh, leftover from the PC version now. But uh, there we go, so all tasks complete. Click in the right stick to complete the order. You've you have done 100% order. You may now complete the order for $476. I'll show you when I complete the order. Again, little you know, quirks, little um, bits of jank in these sort of games. You've got the catalog that's in pounds, but the payments are in dollars. The information I got through with the game from the uh, publisher did actually say they are releasing some updates to the game in the coming days so hopefully these little bugs will be smoothed out but i mean generally the performance is fine apart from this sort of fogging outside which as i say isn't a major issue because you know you you're barely outside it looks a bit crap but um, don't let that concern you too much performance when you're playing the game is pretty much on a par with the playstation version that i've played anyway um frame rate it's probably just below 30 it just feels a little bit like it's not super smooth um, but again it's not the sort of thing that you need high speed action for let's go back to our laptop see what else we've got you have got a browser here as well it actually browse properties and you can these are the ones that you can buy um, so this is the one I own at the moment and you can sell these eventually for buy another property and make that my office I can sell this old office once I've done it up obviously the, the better condition you put it in the more it's going to be worth and there's 19 properties at the moment that you can actually buy so they all have like a little um if we click into one it has a little description here so this one here hundred and one thousand dollars uh for sale a house belonging to the city and it's in a state to be fixed up and just like a web uh and real estate agent website you've got uh thumbnails here of what it looks like inside <laughs> i wouldn't uh I wouldn't expect to see maybe an estate agent website showing it in that bad of a condition inside, but there you go. Looks like it's been abandoned and uh, ransacked by, um, I don't know, tramps or something, but there you go. So you, you get kind of an idea of, of what it needs to be. Like it's a pink kingdom here. So that's going to be, as you can see inside, it's all pink. So that's going to need, you know, if you want to make that neutral, it's going to need a lot of decoration. Uh, just married house, so it's a space, spacious house. House is in good condition, requires only refreshment. Five bedrooms, two bathrooms, very spacious basement. Recommend it. So as you get more money and more reputation, you can start buying these houses and adding them to your portfolio and then um, doing them up. And as the game says, flipping them. So you'd be doing them up, buying them for a cheaper price, decorating them, and then selling them to those town folk that we saw earlier. Uh, let's have another look. We've got three jobs to do now. Uh, Jack Graham wants us to fix his radiators. Amanda Johnson wants us to do some amaranth walls, whatever that is. And Matt Marlowe's got a baby on the way, so he wants a uh, nursery building up. So let's just have a quick look at this job here with uh, the radiators, show you how you buy stuff in the catalog. But I mean, I would probably say I'd recommend this game. It's probably, I hate to say because I hate talking about value because um, value is personal to each person and you know what's cheap or expensive to me may not be cheap or expensive to someone else I will say there's a lot of game here for the hours so if you're looking at the price you know you're gonna get if you if you like it and you stick with it you're gonna get sort of 30 40 50 hours I mean you can put in as much as you want really you know you can go crazy with it and decorate your house and you know paint the rooms and knock walls down and build new walls up it really is you know if you've got a creative mind and you like sort of decorating or you like the idea of the, the thought of this game it has got many hours in for that price um, I don't know if it's uh, maybe one for a sale for a lot of people if you just got a slight curiosity about it so here we go we're gonna put a radiator in this uh, utility room here it's like a, a bathroom it's got a washing machine now it needs a, a, a towel rail and a radiator here so we're gonna unscrew so we press a to move into sort of a build mode and you follow the prompts on the screen. So I press X or hold down X to unscrew the screws here. Hold down R to unscrew this one. Down to unscrew the main tab there. Actually, I think this might be for a sink actually. <laughs> I think we better uh, 
put all that back on. If I remember rightly, this is actually for a sink. Don't think we can do that back up. We're going to leave that back on. Uh, hopefully water doesn't come flooding out of it. Uh, so we need to buy a tower rail. So if we go to our uh, catalog, we go to store. You can search, so press X. And I'm going to type in radiator. Just to filter it. You can go through There's categories on the uh, right, uh, left hand side that you can filter. Uh, you can sort of just browse. But we can just easily go here to radiators and just find everything applicable to that. So you can buy the uh, tower rail plumbing. You can buy a plumbing system for a normal radiator. Mountable tower radiator, which is what we want. A big radiator or a normal size radiator. But we want the tower radiator. We're going to buy that with the A button. And you can sort of position it, but it kind of locks into where it should fit with the pipes. So we're going to press ZR to commit to buying it and putting it in place. And going to A to build mode. And then you just follow the prompts. Very simple. Not much to it. Holding down the prompts just to fit it all into place. It's not really that much skill involved. But as a, again, it's quite a relaxing game. Uh, when we used to play this here, we used to play this quite a lot and just sort of stick some music on in the background or... Uh, stick a podcast on something like that. So the radiator's installed, I believe. I think that all looks okay. So that's good. You can see here we've got um, about, about a quarter of our progress done. The task list is still showing that it isn't finished. So maybe... Well, I think that's installed because it's green. Maybe because we left this pipe off here. I wonder if we could... Uh, Let's order them a sink. Still saying we need to order radiators, but let's let's stick a sink in if we can. That's got some quite nice relaxing music in the background. You probably can't hear it, but there is some nice music going on. Um, so that, can we buy a bathroom sink? We just want something very basic. That basic one there is fine for $47. Let's buy that and stick that in. Just to cover the pipes up that we uh, accidentally uh, left unstuck. So again, A, flush to the wall. Do the uh, nuts up inside. Washer. Nuts. There are different prompts for each thing. Not that it really matters. It's not like a skill game as such. Just think it changes it around to keep it interesting. So again, just following those prompts on the bottom right hand corner. To fit it all in. And they get a bonus sink out of us. There we go. Well, we actually got um, progress for that. So even though it didn't necessarily say in the tasks that we needed to do that, we've. Uh, We've got some progress for that, so that's fine. So let's have a look at the red areas on the mini map. So it's saying there's a red area there, so we need to buy a radiator. That's uh, on the mini map, by the way. Obviously, as I was saying, you can um, just follow the red bits to to know what you need to at least give you an idea of where you need to go. So I knew that there was something in this room that needed doing. Uh, I've just bought a sink. I haven't bought it. You don't buy anything until you um, press Z on commit to it. Anyway, let's go to radiator. We're just going to finish this up. I'm not going to go too much longer. Uh, just buy a bog standard radiator. Plonk it on the wall. And so it goes green when it's ready to snap into place. ZR to buy it. And then you just again follow these prompts. So I'll get this installed. And that'll probably be that job. I think I have one more radiator to do, but I won't do that. You get the general idea of it. Let me know. As I say, give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Let me know below what you think of this one if you've played it before. As I say, I think it's quite a chill game for the Switch. I enjoy playing it. Um, I think I'll give it a recommendation. And uh, yeah, so there's the last radiator we need to do. Yeah, I'll give it a recommendation. Um, I think it's quite a fun game. I really love simulator games. The quirkier, the better. So it's right up my street. Um, but yeah, really good. Runs okay on the Switch. No problems at all with controls or anything like that. And it's a good game. So there you go. It's my little roundup of House Flipper. On the Nintendo Switch. Really pleased when this one got announced. And uh, pleased it's now out. So hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will see you all next time. Thanks everyone.
Bye-bye.